Happy new comic book day, webheads. That's right, guys. It's another new comic book day. What do I pick up this week? Stay tuned for Facebook shoutouts and the question of the day. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you another episode of Spider Slayer's Comic Book Hall. This is episode 443, and this is the video series where each and every week I show you, the fans, what I picked up at the comic book store, which is Comic Central. Guys, they provide the best customer service and always hold those comic books for me so thank you guys and let's get started with this week's haul shall we all right so here we go the mysterious black bat of comics that's it there's a lot of them in here this week i didn't think there was gonna be but there is so here we go and the mysterious black bag is in the air and it graciously falls to the floor. All right, bam, there is the stack like usual. And of course we got those bags and boards on the bottom. And now we're gonna talk about these books. So here we go. The first one we have is from AWA Upshot. This is Bad Mother issue three. This series is okay for me. It's not the greatest. Um, I did commit to all five issues when these AWA books came out of ones that I wanted. We have the Dotto artwork. It's very distinctive when he has all these uh, panel work going on. Uh, we have like a, you know, we have a whole panel going across, but it's literally one picture with multiple panels there. So that's pretty interesting. That's his distinctive art style, I guess. Here we have some more in there. So this story has been okay for me. Not the best, but if you're looking for something different, go ahead and check out Bad Mother. All right, next we have uh, from Boom Studios, we have Seven Secrets, issue three. This one is done by Tom Taylor. Guys, great, great series. I feel like a lot of people are not talking about it. I think you should pick it up. It's about these secrets that are in these briefcases they've got holders they got handlers they got protector of the holders it's all kinds of crazy stuff it has this um, anime style of artwork it's really good the main character i don't want to spoil anything but the main character in here that has done the narration dropped kind of like a bombshell uh, at the end of the last issue but i say definitely pick this up this is a great book and again if you're familiar with tom taylor's writing i think you're gonna like this so this is seven secrets this is issue three all right next we wind up getting the continuation of red mother this is issue nine such a great series from boom studios another awesome independent comic book about a woman who got mugged her boyfriend got killed and she got a replacement eye and ever since this incident she's been seeing this she's been seeing red and uh, she sees this mysterious creature always lurking behind her and whatnot it's an insane book and uh, there's always something that happens in each issue and it is kind of a slow burn book but it's such a page turner you always want to know what exactly is going on and what's going to happen next uh, when it comes to this whole storyline about Daisy that's the main character's name here's to give you a description of what this gory artwork looks like yes it's just it's wild it's out there I definitely say pick this one up we actually had the first volume on sale um um, at my shop for six ninety nine dollars because it was just a little bit damaged. I was like, man, if anybody hasn't read Red Mother yet, this would be a perfect opportunity to pick up that trade because I would have. So that's Red Mother issue nine. Maybe if it's still there, maybe I might pick it up anyway. All right, next from Dynamite. And I don't normally read this series, but my gosh, you have to love this cover by In Huck Lee. This is Vampirella issue 14. Look at that cover, man. It's so good. And again, this year I've had this thing with characters being on their thrones. Well, here you go. You have Vampirella on her little throne with this crazy outfit. And yeah, I, I'm kind of speechless with this one, but such a great looking cover. Here's some of the interior artwork if you guys guys want to check that out yep it's a little weird it's a little graphic not for the young at heart 
So we got some crazy we got some crazy stuff going on when it comes to uh, Vampirella in here. Yeah, so really, really wild. Here's some more stuff here too. So yeah, go ahead, check it out. If you want this cover, I think this is going to be a hot one this week. So Vampirella issue 14. But with that one came the other variant cover that came out with Vampirella. And this is the... Uh, I think this one's done by Peach Momoko, if I'm not mistaken. This is a really cool one, too. And I love how it's, like, I don't know, man. It's, like, drawn, but it's got this, like, it's almost got this, like, crayon effect or something the way that it's colored. It's, like, it's like colored with, like, colored pencils the way it looks. But I love the facial expression, the way she is looking away, and, yeah, just the way the hand gesture is and whatnot. So, yeah, another great-looking cover here for this same comic book. All right, next... We wind up going to DC, and we have Detective Comics. This is issue uh, 1028. This is that, um, was it, Lee Bermenjo cover? Yeah, this one is awesome too, man, as he's just doing the superhero pose. And then, obviously, this story takes place after the Joker War, so this is a new story arc. Uh, a great time to jump on for a lot of Batman fans or maybe fans that haven't read Detective Comics in a while. So I definitely say, yeah, jump on board. This is the time to do it. So here we go. Maybe the artwork is not my favorite in this particular issue, but I don't know. We'll see what happens with this particular story here. So there you have it. That is Detective Comics issue 1028. All right, next, when it comes to DC, good jumping on point for all of us readers here who haven't read Flash in a while, and that's myself included. This is The Flash, issue 763. You have Trickster there on the cover, and he's wearing The Flash's ring. Ah, uh, yeah, what's happening in here? So uh, we got Schnick, who's writing the... Uh, Kevin Snick, who's uh, writing the book, and Clinton Han Clayton Henry is doing art now. So here is some of that interior artwork. Uh, I'm excited to read Flash again. I was on and off of it doing the during the whole run from the last writer and I just you know there's times where I fell off or I got bored with the story and now that we're going back to story arcs again maybe hopefully uh, I could get back into Flash. So yeah check this out. So yeah, there you have it. There is The Flash. That's issue 763. And now we're going to go to the Facebook shout out. Yes, guys, it's time for the Facebook shout outs. And this first shout out goes to Soren Strider. He says, well, this week hurts. Yes, it definitely did. Look at that fat stack of comics that he bought. And of course, the one that's on top is that amazing Spider-Man 850. Those books weren't cheap. And again, that stack was huge. But hopefully you got to read all those books and enjoyed each and every one of them. The next shout out we have today is from Sergio. He says, so as many of you know, New York City Comic Con was supposed to happen this past weekend, and these were some of the things that he ordered a few weeks ago to simulate that con hall, and there was some great stuff. He wound up getting a CGC 9.8 Signature Series Ice Cream Man Special Foil Variant and a new Harley Quinn statue and a lot more. Based off of the picture I'm showing you here, it looks like he had a great haul. So congratulations on that. Next, we have Davey Sides, who walked into the local comic book shop on Wednesday. He found this TIE Fighter that was 40% less than the original asking price. Came back the next day, wound up purchasing it. This thing is huge, so congratulations I'm hoping you enjoy that TIE Fighter there, Davey. And then last but not least, if you guys post questions on the Facebook group page, and I find that they're fun for the whole comic book community, I'm going to put that on there too. And it says, here's a question for the group, and this is from Rodney Garcia. When loading comics, do you load top side down or bottom side down? And along those lines, one strip of tape in the middle or two is the other option. Just curious, what do you guys do? Actually, when it comes to the tape, I just put one strip down in the middle. So guys, if you're looking forward to joining the Facebook group page called Comic Book Corner 2.0, Webheads Unite, just go ahead on Facebook 
ask for the approval, I'll go ahead and I'll approve you, and you become a part of the group, and it's absolutely for free. So let's get on with this haul. On with the haul, we go on to Dark Knight's Death Metal. Wound up getting two covers, Webheads. I wound up getting the foil cover, and then I wound up getting the Jon Stewart one. I almost bought the other one, but I just couldn't buy three covers of that same book. Uh, but here is Death Metal, that main cover. Uh, here's the interior artwork in here. It looks kind of cool, actually. And we haven't seen the main issue of this in a long time, like the main series. We've seen a lot of tie-in books or a lot of one-shots. But now we get the story. It's back. Superman Prime is back as well, as you can see in the pages here. So hopefully this continues to be a solid series. And it gets me excited again for it. I kind of kind of lost my enthusiasm for metal, but when it was coming out frequently, I was like really into it. Check out this page with Robin King. That's awesome. They got one shot coming out with that one really soon too. So that's Death Metal, and that's issue four. So like I said, I got that John Stewart cover too. So we have that one. All right. And then next for DC, we wind up getting Batman The Adventure Continues. This is issue five. That's kind of cool cover there too. It just totally reminds you of the animated series in every way. You got Jason Todd. You got the Joker. You got Batman. You got Barbara. You got um, Nightwing in there. So yeah, it's really cool, man. Really nice looking cover here's some of the interior artwork once again it always shows you that batman animated um feel and i guess if jason todd is going to make his appearance as reddit in here that would be kind of cool as well so there we go so we'll see what happens with this particular story the adventure continues everyone all right Next, we have from Image Comics, this is the conclusion to Stealth. This is issue six. Will we see a volume two of this book? I don't know. It's still yet to be determined, but I would love to. I think this has been a good series. It introduced some interesting characters. It'll be cool to see if the main character dies and the son like, carries on the legacy of Stealth. Um, I think that could you know, justify a volume two here. Uh, but if you haven't had a chance to actually read this book, when it comes out in trade, I definitely suggest it. So this is Stealth. That's issue six. All right, next, Webheads. We have Star Wars Darth Vader issue six, Into the Fire, The Punishment. So Darth Vader has been searching for Padme and he's kind of shown his weakness to the Emperor a little bit. And now the Emperor is going to strike fear in his heart once again so he can become that ultimate uh, Sith Lord, you know, be angry all the time. And I can't wait to see what happens. I mean, you can see right here in this one page that the Emperor is not happy with Darth Vader, you know, he's sitting there using his force lightning on him and stuff. And oh my gosh. Oh man, this is a this is gonna be a good issue. If you guys are not reading Darth Vader, you should read it. It has been good. This could be the best issue to date right here. I don't want to show you anymore because it's that awesome. So that's issue six. Oh dude, I can't wait to read that. It's so good. All right, next, really nice looking Alex Ross cover here. This is the Immortal Hulk. This is issue 38. Really cool as you get to see the Hulk busting through those chains. And the Immortal Hulk has been just phenomenal as of late. Once again, just horrific and scary and just grotesque in so many ways. The creatures are just, just out there. And Al Ewing has really always have hit this this. Um, book out of the park there have been some slower issues or a story arc that may have not been that great but man as we're getting closer to 50 as we're getting closer to this story uh ending overall it's just it's just starting to get better and better again god i love the artwork in this book check this stuff out man so so good so there you have it the immortal hulk issue 38 all right, next on the list, we have Captain Marvel. This is issue 22. I heard this is another first appearance of some particular character, so this could be another hot book when it comes to Captain Marvel. And Kelly Thompson just 
keeps creating characters if that's if that's the case here and uh she's done so much with captain marvel already in the short time that she has had this book right and so i i i think this is the best captain marvel book that i've read in a while so yeah so here we got some more stuff going on in here so maybe that's the new character or is that no or is that um what's her face yeah maybe not there we go maybe that was emma frost it looks like emma frost so yeah we'll see what happens there with captain marvel that's issue 22 all right guys next we have uh the whole x of swords saga continuing we have x of swords part 6 of 22 this is hellions Issue 5. Really cool cover with Psylocke on there. Havoc and whatnot. And uh, I've overall liked the um, Exa Swords chapters. Uh, maybe the last one wasn't so great, uh, but the one with X-Force and Wolverine was, was really good. So we'll see what happens in this particular issue or this particular chapter. You know, I like the journey of them collecting these swords and the the whole thing with Wolverine on what he had to go through to collect his sword. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah, I, th this has been good, man. And once they collect these swords, I can't wait to see this this battle here. So here we go. So we have that one. So we have that chapter and then we have um, X of Swords Part 7 of 22 with New Mutants Issue 13. So there we have Magic on the cover as she's like, I know she has her sword there and it has all the other characters on there. So that's cool. So I want to see this journey. So here we have more sword action. All right. And this is about the soul sword. So maybe we get to see her story on how she was one of the chosen ones here. So I would like to see that also because at the end of what was it x of swords creation she just kind of or x factor she just kind of puts her sword right there on the um, on, on the stone thing and she was just there she just like magically appears you know so i want to hear her story behind it and then we have x of swords um part eight this is cable issue five so obviously cable is going to be involved in this as well so maybe we'll get to see his story on why he is one of the chosen ones as well to hold the swords or whatnot. So here's some more of the artwork there. So yeah, that's cool too. All right. And then obviously I had to get the um, New Mutants issue 13 variant cover, Peach Momoko as well. That's a nice cover with that other girl, whatever her name is. She, she looks like Emma Frost, but she's not Emma Frost. She's like uh, the future fortune teller, you know, Saturina or something like that. I don't even know her name, but it's still a cool looking cover. So I had to get that one too. And then I'm not usually a fan of these, but since I'm collecting everything X of Swords, why not get the X of Swords handbook okay i like the cover and the handbook is kind of cool because if you find yourself lost in certain ways about certain characters you can look up every single character in this uh in this book like you can look up apocalypse and it gives you like all the stats of the character right like it gives you the intelligence the strength the speed uh the uh fighting skills so i like that stuff it kind of reminds me of like when i was a kid and remember when you got your transformers in the back of it it got to see like the speed and the strength and the intelligence i like that stuff i like seeing those stats but you can do all your research on these characters and it, it gives you like when their first appearances was and, and things like that. So I think that's kind of interesting. So if you're kind of curious also when a character makes their first appearance, um, you know, you can find out in this actual handbook. So especially if there's some discrepancies up there. So yeah, really cool handbook. It, they didn't overcharge for it. I thought it was reasonable. So yeah, there's that. All right, and then we wind up getting the Amazing Spider-Man uh, issue 50, okay? So here I got that variant cover. I think that's a really cool one with um, Green Goblin on there, Kindred's on there also. Will we get the whole story of who Kindred is in this issue? I hope so because I am done. I am so done waiting to find out who this freaking character is. So... 
here we have a couple pages of the artwork and I'm not going to show any more uh, just because I don't want anything spoiled for you guys uh, because I feel like this is a very important issue. So that's Amazing Spider-Man. That's issue 50. And now it's time for Alex Ross, Timeless Variant Time. And then obviously... I had to get the Amazing Spider-Man issue 50 Timeless Variant. That one is nice, right? Really detailed. I love the eyes on Spider-Man. That's so cool. And then I wound up getting the Black Panther one, or which is obviously Earth's Mightiest Avengers or Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers issue 37. So I got that one. So that's cool. And then, this one is probably my favorite one of the week. Maybe not. I don't know. This is cool, though. You got Falcon on there. That That's awesome, man. It's so cool. That's Captain America, issue 24, in case you're looking for this covers. That's so awesome, man. But when I saw this one, I was like, well, maybe this one's better. I don't know. So then you got Hellions, issue 5, right, with Jean Grey on there the red hair so that's really cool too and then last but not least we wound up getting um this one new mutants issue 13 with colossus on there and i always like how he does that shiny uh style so cool man look at the crazy facial expression on colossus he's like pissed off he's gonna kick his kick your ass all right but all these characters are like in their classic form and that's what i love about it so there you have it, guys. There is the haul for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now I want to see what you picked up in your hauls. Just go over to that Facebook group page, guys. I'll approve you. And hopefully you enjoy reading all your comic books this week. And until next time, thank you. Thank you all for your support. I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And I'll see you guys on that next video. Take care, guys. Bye.